<laughs> Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of MC Eternal. I am currently in one of these, uh, Baroque, bar whatever the heck, these crazy tribes with these super annoying dudes. And, uh, I figured out that the way to get the sun's blessing right here, uh, in the ch uh, bosses, challenges? Where is it? Oh, legendary artifacts. Receive sun's blessing. The way to get that is to uh, give this guy five gold blocks. Um, uh, so as you can see, I already did it. I brought ten because I thought it was ten, but it was actually five, and I can replenish it anytime I want. And he gives it to me like that. And I didn't get the quest for it, as you can see. So I'm pretty sure this one is glitched, and you actually it actually requires that you get the uh, item, which you can't receive unless you're in creative mode. So, uh, but as you can see, I did it, I used the gold blocks, I used the, you have to wear this mask, so he's nice to you, so I did the whole thing, and, uh, it didn't give it to me, so I'm just gonna have to cheat the item in so that I can complete the quest. I see something I like. Ooh. Hup. I also hear a banshee down here. Yoink. There's some more right here. Yoink. Oh, wow, there's a lot down here, what the heck? Nice. Sick. Awesome. Oh, and I got a cockatrice eye. I forgot to mention that as well. I was just, uh, I RTP'd looking for permafrost and I was just kind of messing around. I also went into a dungeon and got a bunch of these done, these mob drop ones. So that's super cool. Uh, yeah, so we're getting all this stuff done, which is very, very cool. Um, but yeah. So I kind of just RTP'd. I was messing around in a savanna and I found these guys and I killed a cockatrice and got its eye so we can make the cockatrice thing. I went to that dungeon. That's where I got all the mob drops. So yeah, I guess I don't really have a purpose in being here now. I just wanted to... Is that a blizz? No, this is a different thing, right? Blitz. Totally different. Th Ow! This guy's like a... Yeah, see, he's got blitz rod. Blitz chunk. Blitz powder. Interesting. Um, yeah, so this is different. I guess it's probably the same mod, but different guy. I'm going to RTP again. Uh, I'll keep you guys on for this one. See if we wind up in a cold biome. I see some snow behind me, I think, on the map. I see some phalian birds, which I hate. I hate those guys. I don't want to be in a swamp anyway. I want to be in the cold. I see some cold this way on the map. Lots of cold, but I think it might just be mountains. Yeah. Which aren't actually... I don't think these technically count as cold biomes. Hello? Oh, it's doing the weird glitch thing where it doesn't get rid of my jump boost. There we go. Yeah, so I don't really know what the sun's blessing does, but I don't really care. I just wanted the quest... But as you can see, I, I did it legit, and it didn't give it to me, so I'm just going to have to cheat that one. And I, I want I want the reward for it, because I actually did it, so I'm just going to cheat the item in and throw it away after picking it up. We're pretty close to home. Um, anything good around here? I think, by the way, the reason... Oh, and I got the second hippogriff. They're, they're kind of just sitting by the waystone. I'm leaving a waystone there. Uh, so that I can get back there anytime I need to, or whenever I have rabbit stew again, which might take a while because I haven't seen rabbits in a long time, but I- <gasps> A cyclops! That's a quest now that I killed an undead swine. Okay, let me get down here then. Like that, and let me start shooting this guy. Oh my goodness, what the- Okay, yeah, we're back. There's permafrost here. And the Cyclops is now in the Supreme. Um, so let's uh, kill this guy. And then we got the Permafrost, which is awesome. Everything is turning out A-OK. -okay. You know, I saw <laughs> I saw on Mr. Beast's channel uh, last night that he has a, a video titled The Hardest Minecraft Mod Ever. And lo and behold, it's the Ice and Fire mod, which I could not agree with more. I mean... <laughs> In terms of, like, actual mental difficulty, the tech mods are definitely way more complicated and definitely way more overwhelming and hard to uh, grasp, but they're fun. They have direction, 
they have different like tiers of things that you need to get before you can reach like the final the final thing you know like it all like you need to get one thing to get this thing to get that thing to get this thing to that thing to that thing this thing this thing there's like a direction to it whereas this mod is just difficult in general like the fact that i have to stand here and just like this is the only basically the only way that i can be this guy because i have pretty much the best armor in the game besides the aurorian stuff which is super end game um, I have pretty much the best armor in the game, and I got one-shot by him last time, so this is basically the only way I can do it. I have to waste, like, a quarter of my bow's durability, which, again, is a very good bow. Um, and I have to have infinity. The fire definitely helps. The power is obviously necessary. I'd probably go through an entire... Well, if I didn't have a breaking gun, I definitely would go through an entire bow just trying to kill one of these guys or one of the dragons. Um... And if I didn't have power on it, I'd also probably go through an entire unbreaking bow. And if I didn't have either, I would go through a tiny... Like, if I had only infinity on this bow, I'd have to go through, like, two bows in order to kill, like, a tier 3 dragon or a, one of these guys. Because they have 3,000 health, and it's so unnecessary. I mean, you can't melee them. So... And, and even if you could, it's not like this does that much, and this is one of the best weapons in the game. It's just unnecessary. And, like... So, this guy and then the dragons are, like, the two tank mobs that I have a problem with. I think they have way too much health. Then the, then the uh, Hydra was just, like, probably the worst game mechanics I've ever seen. Like, the fact that you have to kill it with fire uh, in order to make its heads go away. And the fact that it regens all of its health, like, unless you have it on fire. And the fact that you... You're just getting endlessly, like, it was like, tick, 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 tick. that's how fast you're getting hit by it, if you're anywhere near it. It's got, like, a heat-seeking, um, like, spray, poison spray that it sprays at you, which is just stupid. And it had a ton of health, so that was dumb. The Stymphalian birds do way too much damage for the rate at which they fire things at you. The Cockatrice is also pretty dumb, the way it, like, la launches itself at you and, like runs around you, especially since you're nauseated, so you can't get a good hit on it, and also it hits you like tick, 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 tick. So I honestly feel like, to, to label that video the hardest mod in, in Minecraft or whatever, Minecraft the hardest mod ever, is not an understatement at all. I don't want him to die from... Cyclops. Oh my god, he still has so much health. Alright, I don't want him to die from fire, because that's what happened to the Mermex Queen. I just have to be careful. And make sure that I... Can I hit him from here? No. Can I hit him from here? <gasps> Are you kidding me? Oh, how did I not die? Oh, because he's blind, right? Can I legit, like, come up to him and... Nope, I'm dead. Oh my god, I got out. I got out. <laughs> that would have sucked to die here. I would have had to walk five and a half thousand blocks. That would have sucked. Um, I think I got... Okay, you know what? I'm going to take a ton of this. This is permafrost. This is slate. That's permafrost. Yes! Thank god. Oh my god, my heart just dropped when I thought it was all just slate. Okay, let me get like four stacks of this, because I feel like that powder stuff is probably going to come into handy quite often. All right, let me pick this all up. There we go. And a little bit more. That's good. All right, that's more than enough. Let's hop up here. Let's hop out here. Let's get back up onto our ledge. Hup. And hop. Okay, let's get back where we can see his health. I'm just going to shoot him to death, because I uh, don't want to deal right now. I guess I can go to the twilight to get um, rabbits back. Rab cooked rabbit for the rabbit stew for the hippogriffs. So that really just leaves the... I need to get fairy wings from fairies. I need to get... I need to tame the amphitheater and also get a feather from it. 
Is it one feather or is it multiple feathers? I hope it drops multiple if it drops any. Is it a rare drop or is it like an always drop? Let's see. Uh, what am I looking for? This thing. Okay, so it says that it's a like an always drop, so that shouldn't be that hard. So once I find one, I should be able to get that. That I can get now. That I can get if I go to the desert. This I got. Just hasn't registered yet. Um, then that just leaves... Oh, and the death worm I can get in the desert. So that and that is covered. That I can just kill pixies for. That I have. That I have. This and that I know how to get. So that just leaves the glass sword, the earth talisman, which is a crafting recipe after we defeat the end dragon. And then the whacker job, which I still haven't looked up. And I probably should very, very soon. Because I still have no idea how to get it. Whoa. Uh-oh. Here we go. Let's see. What? What? Yep. I'm on the wrong Wi-Fi. So it's probably going to kick me off in a second. Maybe not. Maybe we caught up. Maybe I'm okay. Maybe my connection restabilized. Maybe. Oh. Okay, 600. Oh my god, this is taking forever. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to come back to you guys when I have almost defeated him. And then I will see you guys in a bit. Alright, should just be a couple more hits here. Please don't burn to death. I really hope I don't hit him like down to one health and then he burns to death. Okay, you know what? I'm going to make sure that I don't. <gasps> I swear to god! Oh my god! I can't believe I have to do that again now. That is that. Oh! <sighs> okay, you know what? You know what? It's fine. We got. We got the permafrost. That's all we wanted, really. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so annoying. Literally. Ah! Oh, literally, my bow constantly does like 20 damage. Like, constantly does like 20 damage. He was at 9, and I hit him for exactly like 8.5, or, or exactly 9, so he was at 0. Oh, and of course I'm getting disconnected. Why, why, why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be? Why wouldn't I be getting disconnected? <laughs> Ow! Ah, there's a baby bound soul. This guy's got the TARDIS on his head. What the heck? Okay, you know what? You know what? This is a dungeon, right? <sighs> ah, there's a Cyclops at, Cyclops at home. So, you know what? I'm going to go home, store a bunch of our stuff. After raiding this dungeon, I'm going to go home, store a bunch of our stuff, and then I will resume when I've, I've almost killed the other Cyclops at home. <laughs> See you guys then. <laughs> All right, just to put into sp some perspective, this is what the last five minutes has been for my life. I trapped the Cyclops, which is very much closer to home. We're only a thousand blocks away. Uh, I trapped it in a hole. And I've just been doing this. So that we have no chance of it burning to death. And we actually get the loot, the, or the quest this time. Bonk. Ah, oh, thank god. Thank god. Oh, and I made the Cockatrice Scepter as well. Amazing. I get six rewards for that, really. Wow, I get more a morb. I get wow, thirty-five hundred dollars. That's actually really good. And then some loots, some loots. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is gonna save me some some work. That's good. Okay, because this was part of the. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh wow, that allows me to wreak so much havoc if I want to. That is really funny. What is a Leonard statue? Okay. <laughs> Alright, well, that's cool. And I also have mad bucks now. Yeah, I've got 20. Oh, that means I just need to. I just need to complete the introduction chapter and then I can get that. Which takes, yeah, Hippogriff Egg, Amphitheer. I need to kill two more dragons so that I can make the Dragon Steel Sword. I think I can buy, buy most of this. 
I know that I can buy the Spectre key. Uh, and I might be able to buy the Totem of Undying and Totem of Shielding as well. Let's let's just check. Spectre key. I'm just gonna buy one. Bam! Done. Beautiful. Feral Rantlantian. Amazing. Um. Let's see. Is that part of the bosses? Automaton, Black Death, Neo Rantlant. Yes, it is. They can only be assumed to be the direct ancestor of the once civilized Ratlanteans. Oh, you know what I just realized? This is all not Ratlantis. I've been thinking this was Ratlantis. But it's not. Guardian of Gaia must be summoned. The Undertaker is a powerful, hostile ne necromancer that has the ability, ability to summon armies of unburied and siege upon villages, taking no prisoners, and adding to his army of undead servants, this abomination must be stopped. Tower Guardian. Place a skull on the Guardian Altar. After a moment, the arena will be spawned. Well, you will fight the Tower Guardian. Um, altar. Let's see. What did it call it? Guardian Altar. To see if that actually exists or if this is something that doesn't exist. That's Quardian. Guardian Altar. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. <laughs> Unless that's not the name of the block. Okay, how about Tower Guardian? Spawn. Okay, so there is a Tower Guardian spawner, but not an actual spawn Tower Guardian. Interesting. Well, we have one of the Ratlantis uh, things right there. What does this do? Oh, I'm scared. Hello? Okay, I guess nothing. Interesting. Um, anyway, as I was saying, just those three things. And then, oh yeah, I was going to look up if I can get Totem. Nope. No buying totems, so I'm actually going to have to earn these. Which can be found in temples and st stuff like that. Uh, and then of course just the ores, and then fish is undead. That's very easy. This is the hard one, right? $800 to buy it. Or I can use four nether stars. You know, honestly, <laughs> I might just buy them. Well, I'm going to have to kill withers anyway for the... Uh, Let's see, where is that? Challenges. 25 withers, so might as well. Um, okay, you know what? Let's get home and uh, start what we were doing, start redoing what we were trying to do before, which is all the upgrade things. And of course, breeding our pigs and whatnot so that we can get that lazy drill so we can finally get uranium and thorium. We need it. Alright, let's. Uh, Pop this in there, pop that in there, pop that back there. What am I missing for my bar food? Okay, I got a bunch of random stuff. What was the other bottled thing? I felt like... Um... No. Bosses? No, wait, wait, wait. What is it? Challenges? Crap. Oh, bounties. That's right. Baphomet. Okay. Um, oh yeah, and then I found that weird. So can this be used? I could have sworn. Ritual, here we go. Baphomet Sabbath. And I have no idea how it actually works. But we'll see. Okay, so I've got an empty morb. I've got a bunch of random things. Literally, it says random things on there. I'm just going to put it all in here. Uh, you know what else we should do right now? We should just finish this up. Uh, that's what we'll do with this episode. We will finish that, 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 and that. And then also the... See, so yeah, as much as we can do with this. Introduction to science. Okay, signalum. So I should now be able to... Signalum upgrade kit. Okay.
Blues powder comes from a pulverizer. Yeah. And then permafrost. So permafrost. I am going to want this. That's a compactor. Honestly, kind of scary having this on me. Okay, so how much of this do I need? I need two. Just two. I just need two. So that should be easily coming from that stack that I just put in. Maybe the timer on the pigs is up. Let's go check. I wish they ate wheat. I have so much wheat. I really wish they ate wheat. Oops. Hup. No, I think I just... No, it's not up. Not ready. <sighs> okay. Alright. Let's, um... Go back down then. Go check, see if we got any yet. Now it's making gravel. 5% means 1 every 20, right? Is that 5%? 1 out of 20 is 5 out of 100. Yeah, that's 5%. So should be 1 every 20, and we only need that twice. So in theory, we should be getting 3 from 64, just about, if we get lucky. But hopefully at least 2. But what can we do right now? Let's, let's look at the... Okay, so I need to make... A couple of 1Ks. I just need two, so I just need six of the 1Ks. I don't want to use pure. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Beautiful. And then we will change that to 4K because I just need two of these. And I can make a 4K storage cell. Oh, it only takes one. I'm dumb. Three of them for a 16k. I might as well just make that now, since I'm so close. 1k. Uh, once again, don't use the pure. I'll just make as many of these as I can. Oh, I don't have that much. Okay. Um, 4k. Bonk. I don't have enough to make another. Okay, and then 16k. Bonk, bonk, bink, and bonk. Nope, that's not that's not right. This one. Bam. Alright. I might as well stick this just in here. We can we can just have those. It's fine. Just two small ones and then the rest of them are big. Still gonna be a ton of space, so very, very good. Very good, very good. Very good. Okay. What is that? Gas storage component. Interesting. All right, so that finishes up this. Then we need to... Oh, mob fan. How many? Just one? That sucks. <laughs> then we need to do molecular assembler and then an ME quantum link chamber. Then a crescent hammer. Okay, so let's look up molecular assembler. I actually have a couple of these left over. There you go. That's good. Then an ME quantum link, ME quantum link chamber. Whoa, okay. I need a lot. One, two, three, four. Oh, awesome. I had enough flux and flux dust sitting in there to make that right off the bat. Then I just need crescent move, crescent hammer. Very simple. And then a uh, white. Okay, so I need Fluix cables, which is, ah, okay. So I need dense Fluix cables, dense covered cable. What's the, what the, why are they different? Oh, smart cable, dense covered cable. Which one do I need? Smart cables, okay. So I need this one, which takes... Dent, wait, what? Oh, right, okay. Dense smart cables, which takes dense covered cables, which takes ME covered cables, which takes a ton of wool. Do I have a ton of wool? Can I make a ton of wool? Silk. No. 
I cannot. Only seven. Oh wait, no, I have a ton of I have a ton of, st ton of string. Okay. In that case, then do I have fluix? Yes, I do. And the wool. Okay. Um, how many of these am I going to need? Because I need that to make that, right? And then I need eight of these. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Do I need eight of them to make a white one? Yeah, I do. That sucks. Okay, so I need eight of the dense covered cables. Gotcha. And I have enough to make three. And then two more. That's two. Okay, so I just need uh, three more of those, which is 12 more of these. So wool. Am I going to have enough... Am I gonna have enough? Gives you wool. Nice. Do I have wheat sitting around? <laughs> Just a tiny bit. You know what? It's fine. I can string. I can make some. Oh. Oh, no. How many do I need? I need 12. And I have enough to make... What is that? 11. <laughs> and I'm one string short. Oh, dude. I thought... <laughs> I was like, dude, I just used two to make three, but it's the other way around. I made three to make two. Okay. Um, man, seriously? Okay, how about sheep? Give me, give me wool. Can I have wool? Did it give me wool? No. What did you do? It just ran out of the... Okay, hold on. Eat. Give me wool. Does it just give you wool over time? Dude, this sucks. Ah. <sighs> God. Wool. What other... Ah! I have white ones. Does that work? Come on! Wait, 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 wait. Yes! Yes! Hello? Oh, I need a freaking... Oh, dude. Wait, that doesn't fix my problem. I would have needed more of these anyway. That was stupid. I would have needed more... I need 12 of these, but that doesn't make the wool problem go away. This is annoying. I have to keep going back and forth and go like that. Oh, no, not like that. Where'd my white ones go? Oh my god. <sighs> Give me these. That, and that, and that, 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 bam, just twice, two more times, come on. <sighs> this is grueling. Bam, bam, bam. And, uh, 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 bam, okay. How much fluix? Okay, so that's literally... I am so close. Oh my god, I just need to do it seven more times. Wait, why did I think I needed one more? Bruh, I can never do math right. I am so dumb sometimes. Okay, so I need seven more pieces of wool. That is... that makes more sense. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Because one, two, three to make one more, and then four, five, six, seven. So seven more pieces of wool. Get out of here, sheep pet. I don't care about you. I just need to go find some sheep. Come on, let's let's go. Oh god, it's nighttime again. Literally, it feels like it feels like the day-night cycle goes so fast on the server for some reason. Hey yo. Hey y'all. Eat up, piggies. Ah, I don't want this animal grower in here anymore. Doesn't do anything. All right. Ugh. I just need spiders, or okay, I got more carrots. That's good. Potatoes, good. 
beats not as good because they don't give me as many as the carrots and potatoes do. Okay. Um, where can I find... Oh, dude, this is saturated. What the heck? I used some grass there to get wool. Where can I find some... <clears throat> wool. Some sheep. Please pee around, please, somewhere. I just need sheep. Oh, so these do, like, spawn multiple. That's awesome. Oh, there's a sheep. Do I have iron on me? Of course I don't. Can I steal some of Nolan's iron? Dude, I thought someone was here. I was like, yo. Someone on? Nobody ever gets on this server. Nobody but me likes it. I don't understand why we... <gasps> Nolan? I love you, buddy. Thank you. For the service. Bam. And then... Oh, right. I need to go back home. Because I need redstone and glowstone. <clears throat> Come on. White. And then... Uh, bam. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, and then bam. 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 Ah! I did it. We completed this quest chapter, or quest thing. What is that? Ah! 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 What? And how do I charge it? Please tell me I can just literally go like this. Okay, no, not like that. Oh shoot, I have no idea how to charge it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, what? That is crazy. I can't believe I just got that from a freaking... Hey, this is part of mechanism, right? So is there like a mechanism... Uh... Maybe it's part of the... Let's see. That was... Oh my god, that just saved me like a bunch of time because I would have had to make it otherwise. Oh, hey, and I just got wizard robes. Did I not already have that? I think I already had it. That's probably why it's not giving me anything. That's the one part of it I have. Okay. Wait. Yeah, look at it. I would have had to make... Well, I guess this actually isn't very hard. Wow, it's not hard at all. <laughs> to steal, and then some of those things. Okay, well, how do I charge it? Maybe there's like a... Let's see, Elite Energy Cube, Osmium Compressor, Crushing Factory, Basic Purifying Factory, Basic Enriching Factory. This looks like, like you have to make this, whoa, this is difficult. Okay, maybe we'll look into making this next time. Uh, there's a lot of tools in this mod. Yeah, because, wow, there's solar power. What? That is crazy. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking maybe you have to... Dynamic tanks are excellent method of storage. Large, large amount of liquid in style. Smelting factory. I don't know why the purifying factory would allow you to charge it. Well, you know what? I didn't think of doing this. Armored jetpack, interesting. Uh, chemical reactor, here we go. I'm assuming that this is probably how you get charged back into it. Even though it says that it doesn't change anything. <clears throat> is this part of, no, this is part of, what the? This is part of a rocketry. Okay, I can turn it back into <laughs> parts and I, what the heck? Okay, I have no idea how to charge this thing. But, uh, I mean, look at this. I'm gonna go out here. Check this out. I'm gonna sleep. Bonk. And then I can just go like this. Like, it saves me the need to use my my peacock feather fan. Eat some Vindaloo. Check this out. I can just go up 
and then glide wherever. Amazing. And I can even keep the I can keep this equipped and just go like that and fly up even higher. This is great. That is crazy. <laughs> okay, but I don't think I want to use it until I figure out how to uh, charge it. So for now, I'm just going to put it someplace special, like up in my chest in the bedroom. Um, but there you go. We got that thing. All right. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I don't know where we're going to go from here. I kind of am getting tired of tech stuff for now. I really want to go to the end and to the twilight, but I, I need to convince some people to get uh, to do that with me. I think we're about ready to kill some of these pigs in the uh, mob slaughter factory, and hopefully we will get pink slime from that so we can work on getting uranium so that we can work on finishing up uh, this whole place. And then maybe we'll work on Fishes Undead. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Until next time, I hope you've all enjoyed, and goodbye.